Hello YouTube, our players back once again for some more Subnautica and our ocean adventure. And boy, oh boy, have we been doing work, baby. Uh, I have been doing a lot of off-camera work uh, to prep for this episode, so hopefully it's going to be a pretty damn special one, guys. We've made some almost, I guess, incredible progress uh, for the first time in my life. I say almost because I don't know what you guys count as incredible progress. Compared to me, uh, your guys' progress is probably a lot quicker. But for me, definitely, we've done some pretty special work today. So, if we look over here, that, that's, that's, uh, that's our current base, right? That's where we live at the moment. Well... <laughs> well, 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 not anymore, fellas. Uh, so we've got two uh, beacons over here. The first one is for a vehicle bay. Uh, so I've just plopped one of those down over near the flying o floating island because we wanted to come and live there, right? And the second one is beacon number one. So let's go check out what exactly is that beacon number one. And it's good, guys. It's pretty damn good. If I, This is where I die now on the way there. <laughs> like the most anticlimactic thing ever. I like drown or something like that. Man, these floating islands look so damn cool. So this is our new base. Now, I know it doesn't look much. It doesn't look much from the outside. It's in this little moon pool area that we've got in the floating islands. Which, to be honest, is probably one of my favourite little spots that I've found in the game so far. It's, it's just beautiful. It's a, it's a beautiful little spot and I'm really happy that we got it. Now... This is the base. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but I've actually been doing a hell of a lot of work off camera to get the inside ready to use and to make it a very comfortable home for us and to just make the game in general like a lot smoother for us to play. Um, all the sort of basic resource needs sort of stuff being taken care of so that we can actually focus purely on the adventure from now on. So, I think you'll be pretty impressed with what I've managed to do. We've got a power cell charger here, which is very nice, so we don't ever need to craft anything power cell wise ever again. And that's not all. We've got this. So this is a bioreactor. Um, this is basically you put anything in here, like fish, uh, any living thing you can put it in there, like organic matter basically and that will power your base uh, and that powering the base is what stops it like filling up with water and <laughs> not really working as a base so this powers like the oxygen systems and the water pressure suppression or whatever systems so now the base is actually up and running which is fantastic news uh, i've also got so what i think is probably better than this and i don't if if this works on its own then we won't need to use the bioreactor at the moment uh, but we have got one there just in case and i've got a couple of peeper fish in there powering it for now but i've also got if i can find them where did i put them uh, there's a glass corridor just around the back here that leads to nowhere and the only reason i put that in there is because you need corridors to place solar panels down as far as i've been able to figure out so i was trying to figure out how to place these you can put them like on the ground nearby and then like link them up but it's a nightmare um, if you just build corridors and stuff like that you can just plop them on top so this solar panel there's only one we can easily make more if we need to uh, but that's powering the base as well so we have a beautiful little home in subnautica guys we have our own little place to call home in this abyss uh, which is good it's nice to have a nice warm friendly place but also if we've got the vending machine this is really cool so if i just click it up right here yeah look at this yeah <laughs> i pick up some mixed chips and we've actually got a tiny bit of hunger now so i can eat those uh, they do, like, <laughs> next to nothing, uh, the tiniest amount of food ever that it gives you, but it's just pretty cool, and we've got a vending machine in our base. It's like a nice little touch from Earth, you know, to make us feel more at home, and I love it. It's real cool. Um, what else have we got? Lockers. Oh, my God. This is definitely the biggest thing to me. We have lockers. Lockers for days, guys. We are safe. Uh, we can put everything we want in here, so I've been getting loads of stuff. I've got plenty of food stocked up. Uh, we've got tech all in here. I've got resources in this one. Um, I'm going to have to like separate out resources to like quartz, glass, copper, titanium and all that kind of stuff at some point. But for now, I haven't really got that much stuff yet to do it. So for now, this is working pretty well. Uh, we'll what have we got over here? So we've, <laughs> we've got the junk cupboard. Everybody has a junk drawer or a junk cupboard in their house, right? Well, this is ours. It's the misc uh, or miscellaneous cupboard. Uh, I've got my old suit in there, the radiation suit. And the reason that's in there at the moment is because I finally managed to craft myself the still suit. So, th I mean, guys, come on. The amount of work I've been putting in is insane. We've finally, like, made some really... I would say, like, serious progress, especially for me. You guys know what I'm like when I play games. I kind of blumber why Blumber? Blumber's not a word. Blunder? Bumble? Bumble. Bumble my way through it. Uh, <laughs> and kind of make super slow progress, but I thought, no, I want a base. I want to stop having to worry about the survival aspects as much as we are. So I think I'm, like, on the way there now. We've got the new suit, and the new suit that we've got 
is this little beauty, which gives us, basically, it's kind of gross. When we sweat, it collects up all our body moisture. Maybe urine too? I don't know how it works. Like, I'm going to pretend it's just the sweat. The urine thing just sounds even grosser. I guess that's probably more sterile than sweat. But anyway, that's besides the point. This will collect moisture, and it gives us these little packets here. So every now and again, I just get a reclaimed water packet, uh, which, act which actually give us a bit of water. They do take away the tiniest amount of food, because then they're, they're not like ideal ways to um, to live, right? But they work, okay? They give us some, some hydration when we're in a tough spot, which means we're going to have to collect less water generally anyway. So that's fantastic news. We don't need to collect water as much. We've got plenty of water and food at the moment in our lockers. Um, I'm putting in a lot of effort to like every now and again just go on a big resource run, get loads of stuff that I need. And I can do that now because I can just come back here and chuck it all in a, lo in a locker instead of having to worry about like what I'm carrying. So that's good. These are definitely the biggest life-changing thing for us in the game. Really happy about that. What have I got in all the others? <gasps> What's this? Oh, no, nothing. <coughs> Ignore that. Nothing there. <laughs> Maybe you'll see. Uh, I've got a fabricator too as well. So this is obviously <laughs> pretty big deal for the base, right? We can actually build stuff over here. So really, in theory, we don't ever... Oh, I thought there was a fish out there, but it's just the water. Uh, we don't ever have to go back to our old crappy little life pod home. So we're free. We are free, guys. I've got a comm station built, a medi station built. Uh, oh, did I show you the battery charger? I've got a battery charger too. Look at me go. I've got all my old batteries that I've been collecting up in here. Uh... Okay, they're all actually fully powered now, so that's pretty cool. How about these? There's a... Yeah, okay, so we've got loads of powered up power cells and batteries, and whenever they run out, we can just charge them up. So you can see, like, do, getting to this point, honestly, it's been... So since the end of the last episode, I really thought, like, just throwing the base down would be super, super quick. It has not been quick at all. It's taken me a lot of work just to, like... Building the base isn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. Like, just placing stuff down is more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Getting the resources for it is a bit of a nightmare. But once you've got everything set up, like, I feel like we've got the basics covered now. The only thing I haven't figured out yet is... I've got a vending machine, which technically gives us all the food we need if I just stand there pressuring it all the time. It's not ideal, but it could work. I haven't figured out a way to get, like, a water tap or something, so I don't ever have to go and collect water. So I'm still having to, like, manually go out and get that. Um... Hopefully at some point there's like a water filtration. I, I'm sure I'm sure there is. There'll be some sort of system that we can use that does all of that for us. So we won't really have to worry about catching our bladder fish anymore. <laughs> uh, but yeah, l the progress guys, this is incredible. And it, like, it really does feel nice to have a little home in the game now. So I'm pretty excited about that. But, 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 that is not all ladies and gentlemen. We have got an even bigger surprise coming up today. Um, in terms of what we actually want to do. So, you might remember... There's a, there's a vehicle bay out there, right? I put that... Oh, so <laughs> if you're wondering why it's out there with a beacon, the reason I put it out there is because I, I initially put it here in my little moon pool, and then I thought, actually, wait, if I try and spawn in like a boat or something here in this tiny little area, it's probably going to glitch the game out and like break it. <laughs> because I've, ha I've ran into a few glitches already in this game. It is only early access. These things happen, and I thought, yeah, trying to spawn something, especially when we get to like the bigger ships, trying to do that inside this little cave place is, is probably going to break everything. So <laughs> I thought, just to be safe, uh, it might be fine in here. I don't know if it's clever enough to like place it under the water, if it detects areas around it, but knowing my luck, I'd spawn something that gets stuck on the land or like glitched into a wall. So I just went outside the base into the proper ocean and placed it out there. So we're going to build vehicles over there if we get to that point. So, today, the quest. This You might remember this little top secret uh, cupboard over here. Uh, so I'm just going to take everything out of here. Uh, and I'll show you exactly what... Let's put some of this back in here. We can come and grab it in a moment. Um, I'll show you exactly what this top secret cupboard is all about. I, <laughs> I've been grinding out and I've got some stuff that, that's going to help us a lot in the game. Uh, and you're about to see why, if I can actually fit all of this back in here. Is that everything? Yes. Okay, that's all of the stuff that I don't need in there. So, oh, please tell, I hope I've got everything I need to do this, otherwise I'm going to be really embarrassed right now. <laughs> so yeah, this this is what I was really excited about for today's episode. Not only have we gone for the uh, MTV Cribs tour at the base, and I think it's pretty damn pimping, pretty damn pimping. It's very small, um, and I don't know if, like, we'll probably move somewhere else at some point, but I don't need a big base now, I just like having this cosy little hub that has all the stuff in it we need, right? I don't have to walk very far, there's no big corridors, I don't have to worry about cleaning 20 rooms, you know, I don't have to hire a maid. It's just a nice little base that looks after itself and it's got all the necessities all in one place perfect for what we need at the moment um oh oh calm down there rocky boy i hope this island doesn't sink at some point that'd be really embarrassing <laughs> just brings my base down with it after all this work why am i not sea gliding baby okay here we go so we're heading up to the vehicle bay and some of you have probably guessed already what we're gonna do but 
but let's let's do we have to do this together i've done all the grunt work getting all the stuff that we need for it to, hopefully i think i've got everything i need i've written it all down i've been, <laughs> i've been doing the grind i think we're there oh yeah boy we all make ourselves a cyclops so i'm gonna press this i don't know how is this gonna like will it show me it making it holy jesus this thing is freaking huge <laughs> okay, so I'm definitely glad I didn't try and do this inside our little moon pool. This would have definitely broken the game if I did that. Look at this beauty. I don't know. Oh, what is this going to take to run? Is it going to be like 100 power cells or something crazy? Uh, <laughs> look at it. We have the Cyclops, guys. We... Oh, God. It's sinking. Come back. No. Has it got a leak? Okay, it's just... It's just... Huh. What was that noise? Oh, that scared the hell out of me. There's a... I'll be, so, yeah, I'll be concerned just, just to like... So I don't lose the, the vehicle bay. <laughs> I just worry that it's going to float off to sea and I'll never be able to find it and I'll have to make another one. But we have a Cyclops, guys. I've got to take a picture of this. This is absolutely, this is a beautiful moment for me in the game. We finally have a Cyclops. We can now, so I believe, I, I still don't know, like, much about how all of this works. <laughs> I'm trying to learn as much as I can. I'm actually reading stuff about this game on, like, how to do things, which is, like, crazy. I never do that in a game. But this is one of those games where there's so much stuff to figure out and do that, like, it helps to look up some tips and things and what I should be doing in what order and how to do it. But yes, we have the Cyclops. Can I, I don't know if we're going to be able to power this. I'm guessing it probably needs quite a lot of power. We've got a couple of power cells and batteries, but I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's going to be enough. Can I get in? Oh, I have to go all the way down here to get in. Oh, look at this. Welcome up <gasps> oh, it, it talks to me. Oh, this is incredible. Look at this. There's an up. Oh, is there an upstairs? Okay, let's, let's have a let's do a tour. Let's do it. Another tour of the day. Bum, bum, bum. Welcome to MTV Cribs. This is the Cyclops, and over here is where the magic happens. They always say that in, in the cribs, right? <laughs> They're always like, and this is where the magic happens. In my case, it's like this is where the video games happen. <laughs> right, let me on here. Come on. Oh, 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 this is absolutely beautiful. Look at this spinneruna. Oh, oh, my God. Holy hells. But, oh, it comes fully fully charged with loads of power cells already. Oh, does it need... Do these? Does it use one at a time or do they all go down at once? Because if I take this somewhere and they all deplete at once, I'm going to be in big trouble because it's going to take me ages to get enough power cells to come back and power it again. Oh, this is fantastic, guys. Look at this. Wow, this was worth building just to get all of these free power cells, man. <laughs> Access upgrades. Okay, well, let's check this out. Uh, I don't have any upgrades for it, but, I mean, cool. <laughs> I guess we can upgrade stuff at some point, which is pretty damn awesome. Um, oh, what are these? Batteries. Are they batteries? Who knows? Oh, I guess that's where I put the upgrades, right? Um, I, I do have a blueprint to build an upgrade station, a vehicle upgrade station, but I don't know how I do that. Open decoy loading tube. Load decoys here. Holy hell's bells! I don't. This is this is intimidating, guys. I don't. I don't know how to pilot this thing. I don't have my license. I didn't do my training. Somebody help me out here. I. Whoa! Holy hell's bells! Look at this. This is crazy. This is absolutely insane. We have a damn cyclops. <laughs> I am so excited right now. Oh my god, what is this? Cyclops modification station. Okay, cool. We can modify it. I'm guessing I don't have any of the stuff like blueprints to modify it just yet. Toggle internal lighting. <gasps> oh, atmosphere. I guess if we're like in a scary place, we turn the lights off so they don't know we're here. Oh no, floodlights. No, no, put everything back on. That's right. That's right, boy. Uh, what is this? Let's check out the modification thing. Where, where'd it go? Just to see like what we can do. Why can't... Is it there? Okay. Oh, Oh god, I thought it had frozen the game. That would be terrible. Imagine I just made this and then everything broke. <laughs> what? How do I use this? What the hell's going on? How do I use... There was definitely... Where's this modification? Hi! Huh. There we go. Click to edit. Oh, that's the name. What a dummy dumb. Base one, stripe one. Oh, I can change the colours and everything. This is awesome. Oh, we, we this whole thing is going to be orange, boy. We've got to make ourselves the L plays Cyclops. How do, I, how do I get orange? How do I get orange? Give me a nice orange colour. This is not going to be orange at all, is it? <laughs> oh, you can't have a, like orange as the base. That's a sucker. Get out of here, fool. 
Uh, we'll have it like bright white. Okay, fine. I, I can play around with that whenever I like. I we, we do not want to spend time wasting doing a paint job right now. There are... Oh, look, there she is. What a beauty. Oh, guys, this is incredible. We have the Cyclops. We've done it. We, we've, we've made it. We can retire happy, guys. This is it. Life goals achieved. Oh, did I bring enough food and water with me to like, not die? <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and drink all of these and I've got a couple of cured pepper. I accidentally have cooked. I've, oh, I've done this so many times. <laughs> I keep cooking bladder fish instead of making water with them and it really f infuriates me every time I do it. Okay, right. Oh, the responsibility is real, guys. We're about to take... Oh, there's a little radar and everything! Oh, this is incredible. Okay, we're about to take the Cyclops for its maiden voyage for its first ever drive? Is that Do you call it a drive in a submarine? I don't know. We're going to take it for its first ever journey how about that oh oh I feel like I need like rear wing mirrors I'm gonna be crashing into all kinds I crash in the sea moth imagine what I'm gonna be like in this oh so the other uh, I've been told as well like directly below these islands is something really cool but we need to be able to go real deep to get there so the Cyclops Cyclops should help with that we should be able to go real deep in this um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to how does it work if we get out when we really how do we go down how do I pilot this thing that's forward how do I... That's up. Is shift maybe down? No. How do we go down? Is it... Oh! Huh! What's that? Oh. Oh. Yeah, space is definitely up. How do we descend? Uh... That's back, forward, left, right. That's all simple enough. I need to figure out the button to dive. What's the dive button, guys? Help me. <laughs> what an airhead! I don't know the button to dive. Help me. Is there like a thing here? Activate... Oh, external camera. Oh! Oh, how cool is this? Oh my god, this is incredible. So we can like, we can get real deep down and just have a nice little look around in the ship. I guess if, oh, I guess if there's stuff, um, oh, I can switch to different cameras. Oh, camera four, picking up detection signal. <laughs> oh, this is cool as hell. I don't know how to get off of it. Though. Oh, there we go. Oh, phew. Oh, so that's the camera system. I'm going to have to like learn how to pilot this thing before I blow it up and crash it in like in a, a really humiliating way. <laughs> but we have one. That's the main thing, guys. We have the Cyclops. Oh, what a glorious day. Well, I really need to figure out the dive button. It can't be difficult, right? Let me just have it. Like, let me just press some buttons and see what happens. I feel like I feel like it should have been shift, but it's not. How about tab? Nope, it's not tab. Space is up. Right click is the mouse, uh, the, the lights. It's not the scroll wheel. Guys, what is the down button? I feel like I'm being real silly right now. D for dive. Oh, no, D is left. Why did I think D for dive? Oh my god. Okay, we'll figure out how to drive it properly. I'll go look at some tutorials or something. Um, and then we'll come back in the next episode and we'll take it for a proper... Oh gosh. Oh, look at this beautiful moon. Man, I'm, I am so excited for what the future brings for us now. We can start to do some real exploring. Uh, so the other... Oh, yeah, let me... Let me let me, let me Which way is the way out? How do, this is incredible. I can't believe it. I'm having such a glorious time right now. <laughs> this whole... This is bigger than our base as well, which is kind of crazy, right? What? Oh, there we go. And I guess you could kind of, like, live in... <gasps> oh! It automatically comes with storage lockers. That's incredible. If I'd have known that, I wouldn't have spent so long <laughs> building my own lockers in my base. But this is cool as hell. Oh, so we can actually go drive around, pick stuff up, store it in here, bring it home. Oh, this is an absolute game changer for us, guys. This is going to be absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. Oh. Boy, oh boy, what a beautiful day. So, the other thing that I've been told is directly below the floating islands is something really cool that we should try and investigate. I was trying to build the prawn suit, because the way, if I've got it right, I'm, which I completely may not have, the way I understand it is with the prawn suit, you can uh, basically go to like extreme depths. It's kind of like an exosuit robot thing that you sit inside, and you can use that to go to like basically any depth in the game, I think. Once you upgrade it, it can go like loads of heat, cold, like pressure, whatever, it can survive it all. Um, but... I, I don't know... One, I don't know if you can take that inside the Cyclops, and two... Um, we don't have the stuff to build it. So I was trying, while I was getting, I've been spending ages getting all the stuff so that we could come on and build the Cyclops. I thought I would do the exact same thing for the prawn. But one of the things, I think it was aluminum oxide crystal. So all the other stuff that I need to make it, I can make myself. I know how to do it. I just need to gather the things to do it, which is easy enough. But it, it needs aluminum oxide crystals. So I don't know where they are. So I need to find out how to get aluminum oxide crystals. Um, it sounds like just a raw resource, right? I'm guessing I can just find them. I think I might have even seen one before. Uh, so I'm going to like try and figure that out off camera at some point and we will have the prawn suit fairly soon because uh, that's the only thing missing now that I need 
Uh, but yeah, once we've got that, we're going to head directly down below us. And apparently there's something really, truly incredible for us to explore. So stay tuned for that one, guys. It's going to be pretty exciting. Uh, let me know what you think of the base. I mean, I, I'm super, super excited that we've got this. Our battery's just died, but it doesn't matter. We can go recharge it for free, baby. Uh, but yeah, we, we've got the base. We've got lockers. We can store stuff. We've got food and drink. Uh, I feel like we're doing really well now. And we can kind of get to like focusing on just exploring deeper, more mysterious places in this beautiful world. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. As always, if you are enjoying the series, please do drop a like, uh, leave a comment and let me know, share with your friends, and of course, if you haven't already, then please do go and subscribe. Any one of those things helps me out loads. If you do all of that stuff, then you're an absolute hero, and it's really going to help me out. And thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves, and peace.